There are some things in life that cannot be explained. The Loch Ness Monster, the Cubs actually winning the World Series, and the Beast Machine's Maximals. Beast Machine Skydive, today on Gorilla Reviews. The skydive here, a, well, something resembling a pterodactyl, and a, well, is that or a pelican, is one of the more aligned entries into the Beast Machine's Maximal. Now, it does have the uh, spark crystal there. It's hard to say what they were actually thinking when they made this. Yeah, this is just kind of a mess. But we're getting to the, we're not even to the real mess of the figure. We'll get to that a little later. Now, there is a gimmick to this figure. If you press down on this little tab right here, the jaw does open and revealing a uh, sort of weapon. Sort of ray gun. So there's something to it, but otherwise it's just kind of just kind of a mess now, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, but now there's a reason why I'm holding down to this figure because it doesn't really stand up all that well. I have seen different configurations to try and make it stand up better, but it just makes it look worse. And looking at pictures, this is how it's supposed to be in uh, beast mode. And it's still a gappy, fiddly, very thin, nothing now, isn't it? Okay, I guess there's no point of avoiding it, so let's get to robot mode. First thing we want to do here is, from the back here, extend the leg even further. And then stand up like this, and then twist around like so. And we're already getting into some weird area, aren't we? <clears throat> okay, then we will extend out the shoulders, extend out what will be the head, twist this whole part around, and then just sort of collapse and rearrange everything. We will twist this part around here, fold it back, put this part down, fold it back, repeat with the other thing right there. Okay, then just kind of contort the rest of this into something that looks vaguely humanoid. This part of the wing that way, like that, that, continue forward, and let's see, there we go, yeah. <clears throat> skydive in robot mode, yikes, and in robot mode itself, we have ourselves a complete mess. The legs are very long, along with extremely long and very closely connected arms. The body is just kind of nothing. There is light piping there, but that's kind of uh, putting a cherry on top of a mountain of uh, crap. Just, this is not a ro robot. This is not a humanoid. This is something out of a Clive Barker movie. This is like something, if you, I swear, if you painted it black and white, it would be something out of a direct-to-video Hellraiser movie. Seriously. Now, I know that there's a universe version of this, and it isn't any better. I swear, why they thought this would make a good Maximals beyond me? I swear, if you repainted this as a Predacon, this would give, even give the paint differently, you might have a better time convincing me that this is something worth <clears throat> actually having, especially with these creepy arms. Oh, and these blades? Yeah. No. No. Getting on to articulation here, the head is on a ball joint, as well as a couple of hinge joints, so you can get the head moving any way you want to, but it's gonna look a little disjointed. 
joints. You know, you do have ball joints in the shoulders, but you're gonna have to move these, which makes it look even worse. <clears throat> and ball jointed elbows, ball jointed hands. Further extending the rather creepy look of it. Nothing in the waist, but you do have ball jointed hips. Double hinge joint and a ball joint for the knee and ball jointed feet. And yet despite all this, it still can't stand up properly. And these parts of the wings actually hinder anything you might be able to do with it. Making it even stranger and dimmer than it does already and um, that is some straight up kibble with a capital K. Oh and pterodactyl butt. Lovely. I know I sometimes come off as rather pedantic with some of my reviews because I like a lot of things that a lot of people don't. But in this case, I don't think anybody really cares this much for this figure. This is a figure that is basically designed to be mocked and abused. And unless you're picking it up for extremely cheap, don't bother. Uh, unless, like I said, unless you're repainting it into something that actually resembles a Predacon, but that's neither here nor there. Anyway, I am the Swift Wolf. This piece of trash has been Beast Machine Skydive. And normally I'd say free your mind, free your toys, but in this case, you're probably better off buried in the bottom of a bargain bin.